Billionaires and the super rich are building cutting edge garages to fit their massive car collections. Let's take a look at 15 incredible car garages. Number 15. The Porsche Design Tower When you think of a garage, you typically expect it to be on the ground floor, with easy access to the street or perhaps underground. But what if you live in the penthouse of an apartment block? It usually involves parking your cars quite some distance from your front door. But in 2016, Porsche announced their first venture in real estate, and they had a solution for the problem faced by billionaires around the world. Known as the Porsche Design Tower, it's the world's first drive-in apartment block and features an 11-car garage in the penthouse on the 56th floor. This requires the use of a purpose-built 8,000-pound capacity vehicle elevator system called the Deservator that serves all of the apartments and is named after the engineer who created it. The $32.5 million penthouse has 2,200 square feet of dedicated garage space along with two sky garages and ensures that no longer do you have to walk through a building to get to your home, and no matter which floor you live on, you can drive right up to it. The tower actually has three of these elevators to prevent queues from building up, along with three passenger elevators for those without a ride. Security cameras ensure that only registered vehicles can enter, and there's a 24-hour maintenance crew on call just in case your car breaks down when you're inside. Number 14. Jay Leno's Big Dog Garage Jay Leno is, of course, most famous for having been the host of NBC's The Tonight Show between 1992 and 2014. But since then, he's been hosting his own show called Jay Leno's Garage. This wasn't simply something pitched to him by a network, though, because he's a renowned gearhead and has one of the largest and most impressive collections of cars anywhere in the world. He has reported 286 vehicles, which includes 169 cars and 117 motorbikes, and first began collecting them a few years after buying his first in 1964. His particular interest is in cars dating from the 1940s and is believed to have almost a hundred cars from that time period. And he also has a number of one-of-a-kind vehicles, including a 1914 Detroit electric car that's been updated from modern times with the inclusion of air conditioning and Bluetooth connectivity. He has 30 convertibles, nearly 50 coupes, and several rare cars, all of which means that his entire collection is estimated to be worth easily in excess of $50 million. Of course, when you have so many incredible cars, you have to have somewhere equally as impressive to show them off. Leno's garage, which costs several million dollars to construct, is bigger than the average U.S. family home, and there's so much work involved in maintaining the venue that he is a full-time garage manager. Number 13. The Car Dock Lift Garages can take up a lot of real estate, especially on properties in urban areas where space is at a premium. But what can you do if you want to have plenty of room inside your house for the family, but also want somewhere safe to keep your car? Well, if you have a spare $50,000, then the latest product from a Swiss manufacturer called Cardock would well be the solution. By using a hydraulic system that can hold weights of up to 30 tons, they are built to measure car elevators that allow owners to discreetly store their vehicles beneath the driveway. Everything is operated by an electric key fob and takes just five days to be fully installed. The elevator itself can function as the underground garage, or as some owners choose to do, it can simply be the entrance to a much larger space. It's an ingenious way of making most of the land that's available. And the cars are kept under a higher level of security than if they were left in the driveway or a ground-level garage. If that's not enough, the company also has another product called the Car Turn 360 which is a turntable that can be used to ensure you never have to reverse your car out of the driveway ever again. Number 12. Emirates National Auto Museum Sheikh Hamad bin Hamdan Al Nayan is one of the sons of the founding father of the United Arab Emirates, and as well as playing an important part in ruling the region, he's also famous for amassing one of the largest car collections on Earth. In fact, his assortment of vehicles became so large that he could no longer keep them all in a private facility. And to be able to keep his passion alive, he opened the Emirates National Auto Museum to store and exhibit all of the special cars he's managed to acquire. Located on the island of Al Futesi, the museum is a huge custom-built white pyramid. But even it isn't big enough to put every vehicle he owns. On the approach to the museum, you'll see the mobile home in the shape of the globe and the biggest mobile home in the world on two wheels that looks just like Jabba's flying palace in Return of the Jedi. Inside, there's a further 400 vehicles that includes a Mercedes S-Class in every color of the rainbow, a moon buggy, a Mercedes on monster truck wheels, a giant Land Rover that's more than five-story talls, and countless other custom designs. There's no other collection like this, and usually most of the cars are on display to visitors, 
mainly because there's not enough time in the world for him to actually drive all of them. Number 11, the Glickenhaus Garage. James Glickenhaus had a successful career as a screenwriter, producer, and director in the 80s and 90s, and while he hasn't had much involvement with Hollywood since then, he invested his fortune into his own car production company, and along with it, an incredible car collection. The Scuderia Cameron Glickenhaus is about an hour from New York in an unassuming building that used to be a beverage warehouse. From the outside, you'd have no idea what was contained within, but the moment the doors open, you find yourself in a shrine to car design of the past century. Glickenhaus has a particular affinity to Ferraris and has several rare ones such as a 166 Spider Corsa, a bright yellow 67 Ferrari 206 Dino Competition, and a selection of Italian manufacturers' endurance vehicles from the 60s. There's also a Model J Duesenberg that was owned by the Queen of Yugoslavia, a 1930s Stutz DV32 that was used in The Great Gatsby, and countless others that have collectively been valued in excess of $50 million. Amazingly, every single vehicle in the garage is licensed for use on the streets and has a New York license plate, and Glickenhaus often takes them out for a spin, while the garage itself is decorated with another incredible collection of motoring memorabilia from across the decades. Number 10. The Sultan of Brunei's Collection The 29th Sultan of Brunei, Hassan al Bolkaya, has the largest collection of cars in the world that are estimated to be worth in excess of a jaw-dropping $5 billion. He made his fortune from the development of oil and gas fields, and he has dedicated a large portion of it to cars, which are his greatest passion. Amazingly, his collection contains more than 7,000 vehicles, which include at least 600 Rolls Royces, 550 Mercedes Benzes, and 450 Ferraris. These aren't just the original models either, as the Sultan has had each one adapted to his specific needs. Ferrari, for example, built 1,315 F40s to celebrate the company's 40th anniversary between 1987 and 1992. The Sultan is known to have bought at least 11 of them. There was a problem, though, because the F40s were only produced as left-hand drive vehicles, and they were all the famous Ferrari Red. The Sultan had them converted to be right-hand drive, and also changed the color of them, and not content with the power delivered by most famous supercar manufacturer in the world, he arranged for performance enhancements, too. He has done similar with his collection of McLaren F1s and Bugattis, and keeps them on display in a dedicated facility. There, the vehicles are arranged by make and model, and it's said that anyone lucky enough to be able to look around would find it impossible to see everything, even if they were there all day. Number 9. The Fleetwood Auto Salon Steve Plunkett from Ontario, Canada became obsessed with Cadillacs from a young age, and now has the leading collection of Cadillacs in the world. He has 86 vehicles made by the company, which date from between 1907 and 2000, and not content simply owning them, he's also built a custom garage to display them in all their glory. He actually has several garages, of course, but the most prized vehicles are kept in the Fleetwood Auto Salon. He modeled the garage interior after the ballroom from the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York, which is where Cadillac used to host its auto shows in the 1930s. He's definitely managed to recreate the magic that must have been experienced as wealthy customers perused the latest designs that were parked up on Persian rugs. And the 12 Cadillacs on show are incredibly rare and unique. He has, for example, a 19-foot-long Cadillac convertible coupe, the only one ever made, and a custom-built 1949 Cadillac Coupe de Ville prototype that was never intended to be sold and was only made to show off at the Transport Unlimited show at the Waldorf Astoria in 1949. After 600,000 people came to just see that one car, Cadillac were convinced of its viability and rushed it into production later that year. Even though the cars in the garage are unbelievably valuable, this doesn't stop Plunkett from actually enjoying them and driving them on the local streets. He says the older ones aren't particularly comfortable at speeds of more than 55 miles an hour, though, but they have an amazing, solid feel that modern cars haven't yet been able to replicate. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. JK's Cars JK is best known for being the lead singer of Jamiroquai, but apart from music, his real passion is collecting cars. He's had more than 100 vehicles and still owns more than 50 of them. But this is no ordinary collection, because he's obsessed with both style and speed and has some of the fastest and unusual cars to have ever been made. Among his collection is, for example, a Ferrari 275 GTB that's worth at least $3 million, a $300,000 McLaren 675 LT 
a $3 million Ferrari LaFerrari, and a purple Lamborghini Diablo SE30 Jota that's worth around a million bucks. As proof that he's a true car connoisseur, and not just flash with his cash, he has several that he bought simply for the joy of driving, which would hardly be on most people's wish list. These include a $25,000 Volvo 850R, a BMW 850CSI, and strangely, an Abarth 1000. He has a dedicated garage space to keep his collection, and while he often takes each one out for a drive, he's also an investor in vehicles and regularly puts part of collections up for auction to allow himself to buy something else. Number 7. Tom Gonzalez's Garage As the former owner of e-commerce site Commerce One, Tom Gonzalez was in for a big payday when he finally sold his stake in the company. With his fortune, he turned his attention to his passion for cars, and not only built up an impressive collection, but also built an equally as impressive and unbelievable garage to keep them in. On his estate near Lake Tahoe in Nevada, he has a huge motorbike garage that amazingly contains a hundred pristine bikes that have never been registered and have never been ridden. If you think there's a noticeable lack of cars in the garage, however, that's because he keeps his prized possessions in a different garage on the property, and one that's hidden from prying eyes. He had a 6,000 square foot space excavated underground where his $5 million car collection resides. But while the variety of limited edition vehicles is certainly the centerpiece of his garage, the means of access is unlike anywhere else in the world. That's because he's had an aircraft carrier elevator fitted into the ground to lift vehicles up to the surface. At 12 feet wide, it's powered by six hydraulic ramps that are filled with 800 gallons of a hydraulic fluid to work. It costs 25 bucks each time the elevator is operated but it also has some serious power. Not only does it easily move two supercars at a time, but Gonzalez also uses it to transport his 60-foot bus. The elevator is fully computer-controlled and is supposedly able to withstand any natural disasters, so no matter what happens, the cars remain accessible. As an added touch, there's even a fake boulder and a tree on top of the elevator, so that when it's closed, any outsiders would have no idea where it is. Number 6. The Lingenfelter Collection Ken Lingenfelter is the son of a former General Motors executive, and he spent his life following in his father's footsteps. In the late 1970s, he bought his first car, a Corvette, and since then he's only gone on to add to his collection. Known as the Lingenfelter Performance Collection, it's worth tens of millions of dollars and contains some of the most impressive cars to have been built since the 1950s. Housed in Brighton, Michigan, it's not known quite how many vehicles the collection has, but selections are often put on display for members of the public to visit. Amongst the collection is a 142 mile per hour 1963 Chevrolet Corvette split window coupe, an incredibly rare 1974 AMC Gremlin 401 XR, a 2014 supercharged Chevrolet C7 Corvette Stingray, and a 2019 Chevrolet Colorado ZR2L. As well as collecting cars, Lingenfelter also owns an automotive engineering company that specializes in performance modifications, and a number of these creations are in the collection too. These include a 2010 Lingenfelter Trans Am that has 655 horsepower and more than 600 foot-pounds of torque, a 2018 Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 Lingenfelter that's spec for drag races, and an incredible 2009 Lingenfelter C6 Corvette. Number 5. Craig Jackson's Garage Craig Jackson took over his father's collector's car auction company in the same year eBay started offering car auctions online there were many people who believed he was heading for a failure before he had begun. These premonitions couldn't have been further from the truth, though, because the business has gone from strength to strength and has put Jackson at the center of rare car trades, which means he's been able to snap up the best ones on offer for himself. His particular interest is in muscle cars, and he currently has 19 in his collection that's housed in his estate in Scottsdale, Arizona. He has a 1961 Chevy Impala Custom Coupe, a 1965 Shelby Mustang GT350, and a 1970 Dodge Hemi Challenger. But when you have a collection of rare and valuable vehicles like these, you also need an incredible place to keep them. To do this, Jackson built a circular garage on a hillside near his home, and the floor inside is coated with terrazzo. The walls are made of leather, and as you'd expect from someone who understands what affects a car's value, serious thought has been put into keeping them as pristine as possible. The garage has specialized heating and cooling systems to ensure a constant temperature. And there's also a ventilation system to remove unwanted particles from the air. This may seem like an extreme length to go to, but when the car at the center of the collection is a $2 million Bugatti Veyron, it's surely worth the effort. Number 4. The Autobau Collection 
Freddie Lienhard was one of Switzerland's most successful racing drivers, but he didn't leave the cars behind when he retired. Instead, he began purchasing some of the rarest and most unique cars on earth and formed what is now known as the Autobau Collection. He raced Porsches, so that marquee makes up the majority of the cars on display, and it's often regarded as one of the best Porsche collections you'll find anywhere in the world, and certainly the most impressive that's open to the public. There are more than 100 cars on display, including the ones Linhard raced in, several Formula One cars, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, American muscle cars, and many more. At first, Linhard kept this as a private collection in garages found around Switzerland, but after a schoolteacher asked him if their students could see one of the cars, he decided to open a museum that would double as a garage to hold his entire collection. It's built inside a former alcohol warehouse, and it's got to be the most exciting garage in the world. The cars are displayed over two floors inside, but the centerpiece is a dedicated private racetrack where cars can be tested and raced on. There aren't many collectors who can boast the ability to take their vehicles through their paces without even having to leave the garage. Number 3. John Travolta's House John Travolta has been involved in some of the best and worst movies in the past few decades, and unsurprisingly has amassed a fortune as a result. He's an avid collector of vehicles of all types, and his home in a gated community called Jumbo Lair in Florida is a one-of-a-kind type of place to live. As you'd expect, he lives in a huge, sprawling mansion, which has a garage big enough for 15 cars, and he makes best use of this with a mixture of practical and performance vehicles. What's particularly unusual about the garage for this house, though, is that it doesn't just accommodate cars, but has space for several planes, too. Ready for takeoff. Travolta is also a keen pilot, so much so that he's an ambassador for Qantas Airlines and owns a plane in the company's livery, and lives on this private gated community because it has its very own runway with tarmac that leads up to the house. In an interview, he once said that he had designed the house so he could finish his dinner and walk straight onto a plane to take off without even having to leave through the front door. Number 2. Guy Fieri's Garage Guy Fieri is best known for being the face of the Food Network and as a restaurant owner, but when he's not in the kitchen, he spends most of his time with his incredible collection of cars. You may have seen him in his shows driving his beloved 1967 Chevrolet Camaro, but this is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of the vehicles that he owns. As you'd expect from such a personality, his choice of ride isn't exactly discreet. The vast majority of cars in his collection are bright yellow to match his hair, and he keeps all of them in a custom-designed garage near his home in Long Beach, California. He's particularly fond of American muscle cars, and his collection includes a rare Chevrolet Chevelle, a 2007 Chevrolet Corvette, a 1968 Pontiac Firebird, and a CSX Cobra. From elsewhere in the world, he also has an Aston Martin DB9 and a 2008 Lamborghini Gallardo ensuring that he is a car for virtually any purpose. Number 1. Ralph Lauren's DAD Garage Ralph Lauren has become one of the world's most influential designers, which led him to becoming the 91st richest person on the planet. He's put that wealth to good use, too, because he's amassed a collection of cars that are estimated to be worth upwards of $350 million. Amazingly, this value was achieved with just 43 cars, which shows just how rare and unique they are. His cars include a 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO, a 1929 Bentley 4.5 liter, a Lamborghini Rebenton Roadster, a Bugatti Veyron, two Ferrari Testarossas, and three 1996 McLaren F1s. As a true gearhead, Loren has designed a custom garage to keep his collection in, which itself cost $100 million to build. Known as the DAD Garage, it's in Bedford Hills and is one of the most advanced garages in the world. It has large prints of magazine covers all along the walls, a dedicated administrative suite where his garage manager works, scale models of most cars in the collection, an archive to research potential rare and valuable additions, and the workshop with all the equipment and spare parts needed to keep each one of the cars in perfect condition. Amazingly though, despite the vast value contained in the garage, Lorenz lawyers once revealed that he only spends about 25 to 30 hours there per year when he peruses the collection and he rarely ever drives any of them. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.